This video is not intended as a step-by-step -step guide for replacing or upgrading your chain tensioners, but rather to give you a general overview of the parts, what it does, and what's involved with it. The Carrera Chain Tensioner Kit will come complete with just about everything that you need to perform the upgrade. The new chain housing covers are universal and should fit all 911s from 1969 through to 1983. The kit comes complete with all mounting hardware that you will need. The old style mechanical spring loaded chain tensioners were prone to failure. An inexpensive alternative to installing the pressure fed Carrera chain tensioner is the addition of a safety collar around the shaft of the tensioner. While not as good as a pure replacement, the safety collar can provide some emergency help when the tensioners fail. A potential pitfall is that it's not easy to detect tensioner failure and the repeated pounding of the collar may cause it to wear and begin to lodge metal bits inside your engine. With the price of rebuilding a 911 motor or sourcing a new one, I would highly recommend only upgrading to the oil-fed tensioners. I would skip the safety collar. It's not worth the risks. The new pressure-fed chain tensioners are both hydraulic and spring-loaded. The spring tension exerted on the chain is supplied by a mechanical spring and an oil-pressurized tensioning system that is fed by the engine's oil pump. This redundant tensioning system decreases the likelihood of chain tensioner failure. The pressure-fed tensioner is fed oil by tapping into the pressurized oil line that supplies the cam towers. The newer style chain ramps are manufactured out of a tough plastic and are known to stand up better than the ones used on the early cars. It is recommended to replace the ramps if they show pitting, which may be caused by the chain flapping up and down. Two odd shaped bolts that pass through the case create the mounts for the chain ramps. Make sure that you don't install the ramps backwards. The four inboard ramps closest to the camshaft point with their longer end towards the shaft. The two outboard ones point with their longer ends towards the wheels. The chain ramps pull off of their mounting posts and new ones simply snap on. Chain ramps should be replaced one at a time to ensure that tension is kept in the chain. This photo shows an engine during assembly and affords a unique view of how the inboard chain ramps are mounted. When removing the bolts that hold the ramps, make sure you don't lose the ramps inside the engine or you may have difficulty fishing them out. Some of the bolts for the inboard chain ramps may require removal of the engine mount for access. If this is necessary, support the engine with a floor jack or jack stands before disconnecting the engine mounts. There are also two different types of chain ramps. Use the black ones everywhere except for the slightly different brown ramp which is installed on the lower right. In the 80s, Porsche upgraded the idler arms with a newer style that had an increased bearing surface around the idler pulley shaft. It is recommended to upgrade these idler arms as well. If you don't use these later style idlers, a special spacer will be required to fit in between the new pressure fed chain tensioner and the older style idler. When you upgrade to the new sprocket arms, you can use the old sprocket wheels. Remove the wheel by pressing out the small expansion pin. Installation into the new shafts is straightforward, but make sure that the open edge of the socket shaft is installed facing up in order to catch oil for the lubrication of the idler sprocket bearing. Make sure the chain doesn't come off the cam gear when replacing the idler pulley, otherwise you will have to retime the cams. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.